Welcome to Season 2 of the To Health With That podcast, where we break up big health topics into small bites. I'm Amy, and this season I'll share all the tips, tricks, and hacks you need to get healthy with an MTHFR mutation in a step-by-step, week-by-week process. I can't wait. This week, I would like to start a several-month mini-series on MTHFR and other gene SNPs. So I actually want to start it out with a disclaimer, and this is something that you've heard me say before, but it bears repeating. You are more than your genetic report, and just because you have a polymorphism in a gene doesn't actually mean that it's causing problems in real life. We like linear ideas in medicine because it's easy to get our heads around, right? Linear ideas like this polymorphism does this concrete thing in a predictable and repeatable way. The truth, however, is that most genes we're talking about are part of a complex web of overlapping functions. There are loops and redundancies and always, always at least 15 ways to do the same thing. This means that linear in medicine is largely a myth. It's a popular myth, but a big fat lie nonetheless. In truth, all of these processes are more like a web, and pulling one strand might lead to attention on the other side of the web. It might pull in four or five unexpected places, and it might have no impact at all because of other strands that are being pulled at the same time. The tremendous forces that shaped and designed your body have had eons to perfect it, so you are far more vast and strange than you have ever believed yourself to be. Ben Lynch does a really great job talking about this idea in his book Dirty Genes. He gets really clear that genes can be dirty in that they have polymorphisms of some kind, or they can act dirty, meaning that they're perfectly average wild-type genes, but some environmental or life stressor is causing them to act like they have polymorphisms. Likewise, Genes with polymorphisms can act clean if your lifestyle and nutrition around that gene are optimized. This acting clean is precisely why we're talking so much about balancing methylation, because balancing your methylation means your MTHFR polymorphism becomes silent. The MTHFR gene is now acting clean. This is really important for two reasons. The first is it's easy to get caught in the trap of trying to fix a piece of paper right? And disregarding your symptoms and how you feel as a human in the process. What I mean by this is that people start to take supplements for gene SNPs even when it's unnecessary and cumbersome because they're paying more attention to what the genetic report says than to what they feel in real life. What you feel in real life always trumps genetic reports, always. It's entirely possible to have a gene SNP that is normalized already by nutrition and lifestyle and so isn't causing harm. But taking a supplement for that gene might cause harm in that pathway or somewhere else. The other reason is that not all of us have genetic reports, right? It is entirely possible to work on the symptoms that you're having that sound like a dirty gene without actually knowing what the gene SNP is on paper, because at the end of the day, what it's acting like is more important than what it is. The thing we're working on is how you feel as a human. And it's easy to lose sight of that, but that's really what matters. So each week, we'll discuss a different polymorphism, the symptoms you might see with that polymorphism, and some beginning steps about how to work with that. Also, we'll talk about how it relates to the MTHFR gene, because MTHFR really is foundational to all of this. What I do want to make clear is that following the basic steps to balance your methylation will help you to balance 85% of the rest of this as well. There are a few particulars that might take extra steps, but if you're following the plan, you're already working on all of the cycles that interconnect with the methylation pathway. You're already working on everything relating to folate, methylation, glutathione, neurotransmitter formation, and circulation via nitric oxide. Balancing methylation even helps with many detox-related processes and hormone balance. So if you're following the plan, you're 85% of the way there, and now you just need to refine with details. This is exactly why the foundations of this journey are so important. 
And what are the foundations, you might ask? I am so happy to reiterate. So, getting the folic acid out of your diet and supplements. Go for 90%, right? If you can get it 90% out, you're golden. Filling your diet with good food sources of natural folate, not foods that are fortified with folic acid. Adding a good background of other B vitamins and a form of B12 that works for you. Adding in your good methylation driver. 5-LMTHF is the best because it's exactly what your body needs, but some people don't tolerate it, and if that's you, then folinic acid or SAMe are other great choices. And cleaning up your lifestyle. That means minimizing toxin exposure, hydrating, supporting gentle detox, boosting your antioxidant intake, preferably through foods, and balancing your protein intake and your activity level. If you've done those things, you're 85% and possibly even more of the way there. After that, it's all little detail things, but a solid foundation has been built. So for the next three months, buckle your seatbelts, because we're going to start a whirlwind tour of commonly tested gene snips, what they do, and how to work with them. Sometimes we'll work from the snip and move to symptoms. Sometimes we'll work from the symptom picture and move to snips. Because really, at the end of the day, what you're experiencing is the part that matters. Thank you so much for listening today. If you haven't already joined Genetic Rockstars, consider doing so. Helping other people to heal has been shown to increase your own rate of healing across a variety of physical and mental health conditions, and MTHFR is no exception. The biggest thing you can do for yourself is to share your story, laugh and cry with other MTHFR folks, and be there for your healing community. See you next week.